Morning guys! Alright, so I'm trying this new format for these videos. I realized that like editing the videos was like extremely time consuming and I couldn't keep up with both creating the art, editing the videos, piecing them together, sending them off to you guys. It was just too much work. So instead of like trying to make like these beautiful videos with cool edits and all that, which I'm still gonna try and do but just like it not for every video, I'm just sort of gonna like, you know, like Fast forward through the painting process, which is like extremely long and painful to watch at full speed. Like this is 2000% speed. So it was like much faster. And I've edited out a lot of pieces where you would see me stop and like think. So, so this is like accelerated version. And I figured that if I am speaking through you instead of like writing down the text, it's going to be more engaging for you and it's faster for me to edit. So I'm going to try this new format and I'm going to be um, doing a lot more edits. I'm going to be refining the style. So bear with me. It's going to be a little while. At least you're getting the content. You can see the work. You can see what went into the pieces. And then throughout a couple of edits, I'll be figuring out, figuring out my edit style. And I think it's going to come together nicely. And then you guys are going to have some cool updates that are going to be interesting to like watch, not just suffer through. And then... Um, yeah, and then this is going to be more fun for me too because I can stop freaking out about the amounts of edits that I've accumulated and then just focus on the work. So um, yeah, so in these videos I'm probably going to be focusing a little bit more on the psychology and the uh, philosophies behind the artwork, like what was driving my decisions more so than the applied process because I find that a lot of tutorials that you find online are going to be teaching you like very well how to apply paint to render form or to like get a good perspective down and all of that. So all of those things are going to be like pretty simple for you to find online. And I find what's really important and often much less discussed um, is like what, what the artist was thinking about when producing a piece and like what they were focusing on and why they made certain decisions that aren't necessarily about the applied skill, but so much more about you know, like the, the ideas behind it, like what was the driving force. I, um, yeah, so still go learn how to do art, like the proper technical aspects of it, like how to lay down paint and how to render form. But uh, I also think that like really what helps define a style and find your voice as an artist is like a super important part of it. And I think it's probably the least talked about because it's still very esoteric, like people don't know how to communicate that, right? So yeah, to begin with this artwork specifically, I find that a lot of the things that I struggled with when I started off was that I was really good at characters, but like environments and entire scenes as such was still a weakness for me. And I thought this was due to all sorts of, you know, applied art issues, but it was, turns out, it was because I had a poor visual library for what went into background things. I had specialized in characters a lot, and so I know what goes into making a good human or a good character or often a good creature also like in terms of anatomy and movement and all of that and just like details like how certain things look you know but that um, in terms of environments I had no idea because I had spent very little time studying environments and so when I started working on this piece just like the jungle in its in and of itself um, has such a plant variety like there's so many different kinds of plants in the jungle and you're like oh this is obvious but like it really shocked me when I sat down and actually started to look at it that there was no way around it like I had to learn all the different kinds of plants and what they looked like and what differentiated each from another you know and that without that the work wasn't going to come together and so that really slowed down the process for me and so I had to go back and like look at a whole bunch of references and then learn like the structure because like plants grow structurally, you know, for themselves a certain way, but like one next to the other, like some will create shade, some will parasite and some will, you know, they, they work together as an ecosystem as well. And it was important for me to learn that and you wouldn't think it would be that much of an influence on the image, but it's things that we're so used to seeing that in real life, we know what they look like, even though we can't define it. But then when we see it and it's wrong, we instantly recognize the error, but we can't say what's the problem. So it's really important to know your subject. All right, so this is pretty much where I'm going to end this first video. It's a bit shorter than the ones I intend on doing, uh, but I understand that like going from like non-spoken video to spoken video is going to change the entire watching dynamic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, key takeaway is make sure you build that visual library. If you're interested in a topic, research it and research it visually, like what it looks like. 
And yeah, thanks for sticking around. Please like, subscribe, and share because this is the internet. Enjoy the rest of the shows.